My name is Land Wilson, spelled L-A-N-D. I'm a children's book author known to kids as Mr. Land. I want to explain why the book Cradle to Cradle is so important to me. As a young child, I had the good fortune of being encouraged to fall in love with nature by my parents and a wonderful naturalist named Mrs. Terwilliger. Little did I know that this love would help form my values and become a strong part of my identity later in life. In 2000, when I knew that I wanted to have kids, I set out on a goal of figuring out how I could teach kids what I had learned about the importance of caring for Earth. I wanted to use my interest in writing to develop a story that could somehow do this. I wanted to find that one thing that makes people really understand how important it is to protect Earth. The more I looked into this, the more I read about the dramatic things that astronauts said after seeing Earth from a distance. Then, as part of my research, I had the privilege of interviewing three Apollo astronauts. Those interviews inspired me to write a book called Sophia's Dream. In the book, Sophia befriends the moon and sets off on a dreamy adventure to visit him. When she sees Earth from the moon's point of view, she's inspired to protect our planet and to encourage others to do the same. During the years I spent refining my story and looking for a publisher, a dear friend loaned me their copy of the book Cradle to Cradle. This was a dramatic turning point for me. Up until this time, I knew that teaching children was a necessary step for humans to shift towards sustainability, but in the back of my mind, there was always this daunting idea that our lifestyles and industrial practices were so set that breaking unsustainable ways of living on a global scale were unrealistic. But in Cradle to Cradle, here was a path for living in harmony with our environment. Up until this point, I had never read something that made me come away with strong feelings of hope for a future with people and industry operating in ways that were not destructive to our natural world. Once I started it, I couldn't put it down. When I finished reading it, I carried it around so much that ink started wearing off of the cover. The width of this borrowed book grew from post-it notes and any articles I could find about the book. Coffee stains were starting to illustrate its pages, and I ended up buying my friend a new copy, and ever since I've kept my book within arm's reach at my desk or at my bedside. This book quickly became one of the most important books I had ever read. What is so exciting to me about Cradle to Cradle is that it is a roadmap for how civilization can thrive in the face of our environmental challenges. After a lifetime of worry about human destruction of nature, this book excited me because it laid out realistic answers on how humans could promote industry but shift to sustainable ways of living by strictly keeping our industrial materials in industrial cycles. And now that I'm speaking to kids about protecting Earth with my book, what excites me is that even though I know our future generations face unthinkable environmental challenges, there is hope. Someone once said, society grows great when old men plant trees whose shade they know they shall never sit in. Cradle to Cradle has presented us with practical solutions for making future generations proud of the actions we take today. It is our responsibility to embrace this kind of forward thinking so that we can protect Earth and the future of our species. Our youth are the jewels of our future, and it is their turn to benefit from Earth and not be challenged by a mess that humans create. There are countless examples of how humans have what it takes to overcome challenges because of our instinct to cooperate. It is this ability that has ensured our survival, and it is this ability that can get us to where we want to go. Thanks to Cradle to Cradle, I can speak to kids and honestly say that there are ways to overcome our environmental challenges if we cooperate. There is hope. And we can do this. I am beyond grateful to the authors of Cradle to Cradle for writing this book and for giving me hope. I am grateful to the devoted staff at the Cradle to Cradle Innovations Institute who have committed themselves to implementing Cradle to Cradle practices around the world. You are all planetary heroes, and I am honored to share my thoughts. For anyone who has not read this book, please read it and ask others to do the same. Thank you.